Hey everybody and welcome to another How Tech video tutorial. In this video we'll be showing you how to create a basic pivot table in Excel. Pivot tables can reorder the structure of a set of data like this. They're commonly used for extracting and calculating the important information and moving it to a separate table. So let's say you have a huge data table but you only need a small section. Pivot tables are the way to go. So to get started we're going to select our table or you can simply click on a cell of the table. We'll go to the insert tab and hit pivot table. So you can see it has now selected our entire pivot table. And that's table one. And we want to put it on an existing worksheet. The location will be right here. And we'll hit OK. So now a sidebar has opened and we can choose which fields we want. So we have an ID, seller, product, and you can see that these line up with the columns that we have in our original table. So let's say I wanted the city and I wanted to know the sales of each city. So now you can see that it has each of the cities here and it has the sum of the sales and then a grand total at the bottom. So it has taken all the important information that we wanted, extracted it, put it into another table and gave us the totals of each of those. So it's very handy. So let's say I also wanted to know the seller of each of those. So now we have the sellers. So you can see it puts it in the, this tree form where we have the city here and then we have all the sellers in that city and then their sales in that city. And we can close those if we wanted to and bring them up. But it's got all the important information. Now if you wanted to do it the other way around, if you wanted to have the seller at the top, you simply move that row up and now you have the sellers here. You got Ash, you got Dwight, and the cities that they're based in and their number of sales in each. So let's say we also wanted to bring it into a column, not this big long row here. So if we wanted more columns, we could take any one of these and put it into the columns box. And now you can see that the cities are now make up the columns. And we have the sellers on the rows here. So another thing we can do is, instead of having it add up the sum of the values, we can simply click this and change the value field settings. And we could turn it to the average if we wanted to. Hit OK on that. And now you have the average of sales. So Ash did an average of 3598 in New York City, so on and so forth. Another thing we can do is we can use the filters tab here. So if I wanted to filter by city, and let's say I also put date down in the rows tab. So let's see. Uh, so if we scroll up a bit, we can see that we now have a city filter at the top. So if we hit that drop down, we can change it to New York City, hit OK on that, and you can see now that it has filtered everything so it only shows the results from New York City. Pivot tables are great for reordering and summarizing data in large tables. What other methods do you use to organize your data? Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.